Good evening and welcome to the first video from the new Criminology channel. Um, so some of you may know me from other places. So I have a WordPress blog, criminology.com, um, an Instagram account, what we worry underscore reads, uh, and I'm uh, at what we worry on Twitter. Um, and that's probably about it. <laughs> so anyway, um, my son has challenged me to create a YouTube channel and get more views than him. Um, so this is my first attempt. So apologies for any technical uh, mishaps um, or excessive rambling from me, of which there is likely to be lots. Um, so anyway, I thought for my, my first video, so Criminoli is all about crime fiction, as the name suggests, um, and also... Um, pulps and thrillers and westerns and all that uh, kind of stuff from the, if you like, the lower end of the um, the paperback market. Um, the book I wanted to talk to you about today is the one you can see on the screen, Edge the Loner, um, by George G. Gilman, Gilman even, um, which was published in, I think, 1972. Um, so, in fact, the year before I was born. Um, so this is the, the first of a long running Western series that run ran through the 70s into the 80s, um, featuring um, the hero Edge, um, full name Josiah Hedges, um, who is a half Mexican, half Swedish um, renegade, I suppose you'd say, in, in the Old West. Um, so fought in the American Civil War, um, we find out in later books, um, on the Union side. Um, and subsequently, having lost everything, lost all his money, lost his family, um, becomes kind of a, a, a loner, as the title suggests, who roams around the old rest, um, not even writing wrongs, just basically being a bit of a bastard. Um, so the Edge books are very much about Edge trying to survive and trying to make a buck um, rather than anything nobler than that. Um, and that's one of the things I think that kind of sets them apart from a lot of the previous Westerns from like the 50s and 60s, um, where, you know, the white hatted hero um, goes around saving damsels and things like that. Um, Edge is very much a, a very selfish hero who's or anti-hero who's completely out for himself um, and, you know, quite often um, uses quite excessive violence um, to get his way. Um, which is gleefully described um, in the books by by Gilman. So so Gilman, um, despite the name and despite the the, the kind of your know, your image of a, of a Western author, um, Gilman was actually an Englishman called Terry Harknett who wrote a number of different books in a number of different genres. I think the Edge series was his most popular. He did another um, a couple of other Western series as well, um, as well as doing various crime novels and things like that. Um, but it's Edge he's, he's best remembered for. Um, so this book, the first in the series, is, is kind of the origin story. So it starts with Edge um, coming back from the war, trying to get home, um, but arriving home to find that his, his younger brother has been slaughtered by um, an extremely nasty group of, um, of ex-soldiers um, that Edge fought with in the war. Um, and Edge then goes on a, a, a quest to find them and get his revenge on them, and that really sets the sets the tone for the series. So, um, you know, extremely violent, um, extremely politically incorrect, I guess you'd say, in terms of especially the the treatment of women, um, but equally in some ways, um, you know, quite interesting. So the fact that Edge is half Mexican um, is interesting, and you know, the racism of other characters towards him um, is definitely something that's featured in the series. Um, there's also, you know, in some of the later entries, um, Native Americans um, appear, um, and Edge's view of those is is very interesting. He, you know, he sees them as as just another group of people who are fighting against everyone else, um, and in their case, he thinks they're quite right to be fighting because the Europeans have come over and stolen their land. Um, so maybe a, a slightly more even-handed view of things than you might expect from a seventies western. Um, anyway, the, the, the books of which I've, I've managed to amass a collection of about 30 or so, 
Um, there's still a few gaps, as I say, I think there's over 50 in total, so I need to try and plug some of the gaps, but I'm working through them, and I'm, I think I'm up to about book seven now, um, and they're all great fun. They're, they're nasty, um, they're brutal, um, but they're, they've got that kind of enjoyable spark that good pop fiction has. Um, you know, punchy dialogue, interesting characters, very colourful, um, and, you know, if, if you enjoy... Um, your action uh, on the slightly bloodier side they're, they're certainly well worth a look if you can dig them out um, you can pick up um, if you're lucky you can pick up the paperbacks for already very cheap in charity shops um, if not you can get them on uh, you can get them on uh, on eBay if you search about a bit and what I did to start my collection was bought a big bundle so I think I bought about 20 in one go um, and I've then been filling in the gaps in that bundle um, as I've gone on um, but you can also get them on Kindle. So unfortunately, they're not on Kindle Unlimited, um, but you can buy them on Kindle. I think they're about two ninety nine dollars a, a book. Um, and that's how I actually read the first one. I thought I'd give it a try on Kindle and see if I liked it. And I definitely did. And then started buying the paperbacks. Anyway, that's my first uh, my first video, first review over. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe, as all the YouTubers seem to say. Um, I'm hoping to get at least one video uploaded a week. Um, and in the meantime, please do check out um, particularly the WordPress, so criminoli.com, where I publish, um, at the moment I'm publishing three reviews a week um, of uh, various types of books. So crime, um, as I said, pulps, westerns, thrillers, things like that. Uh, the occasional horror horror novel creeping in there as well um so do check that out and you'll find links to all my social media accounts on there thanks for watching i'll speak to you soon cheers